What's up everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports bringing you a brand new video today to talk to you about a very special release from Adidas. I have in front of me the Adidas Predator Accelerator Remix in this special David Beckham release. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my friend Raymond for picking these up. Thank you very, very much for letting me review them and unbox them and show them to my YouTube following. I hope you enjoy them. They're a sick pair of cleats. This is going to be a quick unboxing video to take a quick look at the tech specs and overall look of the Adidas Predator Accelerator Remix. And we're just going to slip them on later so you guys can get a better idea as to how these things fit and feel. Right away we know from the box that this is a very special release. You have this very nice slide out box here on the front as you can see in this white sort of finish there's Beckham written and number 23 over here so you can see the Beckham writing 23. There's an Adidas logo in here it's very very faint. First and foremost you get this little package here as you can see again it has Beckham's name on it there depending on the lighting. It's all white there's an Adidas logo down there and it's just a little book showcasing some of Beckham's career highlights. On the front you have this sort of very fancy Beckham writing. It has his numbers over here, 7, 23, 32, and the Predator name. The back is just an Adidas logo. And inside the book, you just get some, you know, little information regarding Beckham's career. It does explain the dates. That's one of the dates you see inside the shoe there. April 14, 2012, he scored a goal against the Portland Timbers for the LA Galaxy. And it's just showcasing some of the Predators Beckham wore throughout his career and there's a few important dates in there. And then you get a string bag, an extra pair of laces, a shoe horn which I believe is inside the string bag. So the string bag is very simple, this nice sort of felty suede material. It's got an Adidas logo on the front, 23, and of course Beckham's name right there. It is triple white. As you can see, these are a triple white release. They're very, very clean. They've incorporated some modern materials with this prime knit sock here, but they've also kept the traditional kangaroo leather, the original Predator Accelerator rubber elements, as well as the big three stripes that you can see that run from the sole plate up into the lacing system. These three stripes, they are actually reflective, so it is a, a unique sort of uh, look when the light hits those three uh, big stripes right there because they do reflect the light off and it just creates this cool sort of effect. The upper is made primarily out of a kangaroo leather. You can see when I push on this sort of forefoot area Area right here that it has a very soft nice padded feel to it you definitely feel the um, rubber elements they do create a little bit more bulk similar to the original obviously that's combined with this prime knit sock here so it's just giving the whole shoe a little bit more of a modern feel so you have this sort of high cut sock here with these little cutouts with exposed prime knit there there is no tongue it's this one piece tongue and it's exposed prime knit once again and the lacing system is integrated very fairly similarly to the original accelerator with the laces being on the inside right here with these little lace loops. On the back you can see there's this very nice graphic. There's the Beckham name with the number 23 right there. Right here on the inside of the prime knit there is a date right there. So that is the 28th of November in 2004. I believe Beckham scored a goal for Real Madrid in the 54th minute as you can see right there. So that is one special date according to him. And on the other shoe, again, there's the one that's the same as in the book. There is April 14th, 2012. Beckham scored a goal at the last couple minutes, in the last couple minutes of the game, in the 91st minute against the Portland Timbers. That is when he was playing, of course, with the LA Galaxy in Major League Soccer. And that is pretty much it for the upper. So you do get a kangaroo leather upper combined with prime knit, and the rubber elements are built into the upper right there. Just giving you that classic accelerator feel. And then they've thrown on the Adidas A17 Plus sprint frame. So it's just reducing the overall weight of the shoe. The original accelerator was quite bulky in one of the heavier shoes at the time. You can see the cutout right here with the boost foam insole. You have your four conical studs at the heel, your three on the inside, three on the outside, that one pivot stud in the middle. If these were my shoes and I were actually wearing them, I am glad that they threw on this modern sole plate just because I like the way it feels and I think it makes the shoe look very, very clean overall. As you can see, they do throw in this boost foam insole. It's not too thick, but it is very common for today's modern insoles. It's got this nice layer of this suede felt material on top, just covering that boost foam. And of course, you can see how there is the number 23 and the Beckham name written in this gold print. I think the original accelerator would feel quite dated to the modern cleats that are released nowadays. So I do like the fact that they've combined 
the classic elements with the modern elements of the sole plate and the prime knit sock. Stay tuned, I'm gonna slip them on so you can get a better idea as to how these things fit and feel. They are too big for me, but I just wanna slip them on so you guys can get a look at how these things look on feet. So there's a quick look at the Adidas Predator Accelerator Remix on feet. These are obviously way too big for me, but just to give you guys a quick look at what these things look like on feet, uh, I, I slipped them on quickly. They are extremely comfortable from what I can tell. The kangaroo leather upper is quite soft, but at the same time, they do have this modern fit. They have that prime knit sock that really takes over the sort of feel on your feet. So they're not very different from something like the Adidas Ace or anything like that. You do notice a little bit more bulk uh, in the forefoot, especially with those rubber elements. So that will add a little bit of weight to the shoe itself, but it doesn't Im impact the feel too much. The heel, the midfoot feels very similar to a modern Adidas Ace 17. But the forefoot is ever so slightly different just because you have that padded kangaroo leather and of course the rubber elements. But other than that, they do feel very, very comfortable on feet. They are quite wide and since they are Adidas, you could go true to size and they're gonna fit you just, just fine. At this point, you won't be able to get a pair of these. These are a limited edition release. But if you're lucky enough to maybe find a pair on eBay or something like that and you're really, really interested in picking them up, I would suggest going true to size. Given that they have the Adidas A17 Plus sprint frame, they will fit most people, people with narrow and wide feet. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. This is Mike Bactar with All Sports. I'm signing off for now. See you in the next video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash that like button, leave a comment, and consider subscribing for more videos. See you guys next time on All Things Sports by Mike McIntyre.